Hi, I'm Arianette, and I am obsessed with Kieru. Feel free to leave me corrections down in the comments if I pronounce every anything wrong, <laughs> but Gyaru is a subculture, like a fashion lifestyle subculture that originated in the 90s in Japan, and I found out about it entirely too late. By the time I found out about Gyaru, it was like maybe like 2011, 2012, around there. So by the time I found out about it, it was sort of dying out and people weren't really practicing it anymore. <laughs> Plus it was starting to look kind of dated as well. The makeup is really, really extreme. The clothes are really extreme. The accessories are extreme. I love it. I could not tell you where my love of Japanese fashion began, but it's weird because I don't watch anime and I never really had a weeb stage. Other than Sailor Moon, um, I didn't have much exposure to like, Japanese media or culture. And then when I found out about Gyaru and uh, kawaii subcultures, I was obsessed, I was hooked. I think the thing that really got me hooked was learning about the connection between kawaii fashion in Japan and the punk movement from London. I have always gotten in trouble for speaking my mind. I used to be like really like edgy when I was a teenager. I've definitely like calmed down and smartened up a lot since then, but I'm still like an incredibly direct person. I'm quite assertive. People who are indirect do not like me. <laughs> and Gyaru kind of welcomes and embraces that. So I've decided I wanna do it. I wanna like fully go all in and become Gyaru. I've tried this before and it did not work out very well because I was horrible at makeup, like really, really horrible at makeup. But I spent a few years now learning makeup and I think I could do it, I think I'm ready. And yeah, I mean, I'm growing out my hair right now. I've just been lightening it. It's finally at a stage where I'm kind of happy with it, but I am gonna keep it pink. If you've been watching my videos, you know that my wardrobe is very pink, it's quite girly. I have a lot of like uh, casual princess style stuff, which is one of my favorite styles. I personally love like Himikaji and Himigaru, <laughs> but I think that's a little bit too extreme for like, I don't know if I could get there, especially with, um, I have a very tall nose. I just don't think it's very dainty and princess-like. I don't know, let me know. That's another thing. I want you to tell me if I'm doing it wrong. I won't be offended. Sorry, <laughs> little hair. One of the major parts of Gyaru culture was that if you come into the community into like, uh, you would join like a circle. And if you came in as a new member, the other members, the older girl, girls, gals, would help you. They would like teach you how to do your makeup, teach you how to dress. So there was this like sense of community and togetherness and everybody would help each other. Where is that now? Where is that? I found like a few groups online and I've joined them and I tried to interact and like it didn't work very well, but I mean like, your comments are welcome here. Um, I won't perceive it as judgment if you tell me like, oh, you should do this way, you should do this way, try this out. I will not be offended. I welcome it. I am excited. Help me. <laughs> Please help me figure this out because it is really overwhelming and I'm kind of lost and I'm actually really excited but like also nervous. I need to sleep. Um, but yeah, if that sounds like something you might be interested in, subscribe because that's what I'm going to be doing now. I also make music and sometimes I post about music production. I also post regular vlogs if you like that sort of thing too. So hi, hello, welcome. I'm Arianette, I think I already said that. We'll be doing circle lenses and we'll be doing makeup, especially top and bottom lashes. We'll be doing some tanning, uh, maybe some working out, just a little bit, not too much. And uh, yeah, I don't know, other regular kind of Guillermo lifestyle stuff, I'm excited.